Hey folks, welcome to First Coast Living. I'm Curtis Dvorak. And I'm Hattie D. Jamal. Now, Curtis, two years ago, you asked me what have I really liked about Jacksonville, what I've come to like about Jacksonville. And I couldn't really answer that question because I had just moved here. But now, since living here for two years, the one thing that I can say I really love has been the art culture that I've discovered here. And that, that especially with the film, but the museums as well, there's just so much to, to see around town. That's right. It's one of the, the gems of our, of our first coast that people don't realize. We have a very diverse art culture here. Um, and over the last five years, it's exploded. And we talked a couple weeks ago about Art Walk, and, and they featured an artist, Kiara Sanchez. And what I love about her, she's obviously she's a Hispanic heritage, and we're celebrating that over the next month. But I love that she's local and homegrown. And I talked to her about her art, where it's going, and what she feels about being a local homegrown artist featured in her own city. Yes, I am. Pretty much my whole life here in Jacksonville, Florida. Studied in St. Augustine, Florida, and now I'm back to Jax. And so your your art, you have some of your art over your shoulder there. Um, you do a couple different mediums. What are what are you, what's your favorite medium to to work on? My two favorite mediums are probably going to be pen and ink with watercolor, and then I pretty much do most of my doodles and custom illustrations on my iPad. So I digitally draw a lot of my pieces. So do you ever do you ever get mixed up between which medium you're using? Because on the iPad you can just like undo, 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 but when you're drawing, that's it. Yes, especially if I've been drawing for like most of the day on my iPad and then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna switch to my good old watercolor and pen and I try to undo something and I'm like, I cannot do that here. <laughs> um, you, you also, you work work here uh, locally with, with Bold Brands, my friends there with uh, partners with Void Magazine and all that. Um, so you're digital, uh, you know, graphic artist, but where do you wanna take your art? Yes, I've been very lucky and blessed to work with like the Void team and now the Mole Brands team has been great. Um, love being a designer, but definitely want to keep pushing illustration, especially like illustrating in magazines, children's books, um, more custom pieces. And of course, I really want to be in a gallery at some point um, down the road. So lots of things on the list. I love it. Got the goals set there. Um, <clears throat> you mentioned something there, the custom pieces. On your, 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 tell folks about your website and also Christmas is, you know, just around the corner. You do some really cool Christmas gifts that are one of a kind. Yes, I do custom illustrations, whether it's like a wedding portrait, a family portrait, your dog, your house. I even do custom skylines because everybody really loved um, the Jacksonville one. And every year for Christmas, I do custom ornaments. So I create your custom portrait and put it in a small ornament and then I just start milling them out to people. So that'll be up on my website very soon on kiartis.com. Like that. And also your Hispanic heritage. I can see the, the Puerto Rican flag kind of hanging in the background there. How do you incorporate that into your art? A lot of my pieces, you know, showing Hispanic heritage through art, it really connects a lot of people. It gets other, you know, Hispanic, Latino people very excited to see and have pride to have those kind of prints in their home. Right now I have Frida um, behind me, but I have a lot of, um, I call them the Latina legends, Celia Cruz, Selena, Frida, there's gonna be more down the road. Um, prints about coffee because we love our espresso coffee. Um, I, do. I, I can see it right there. You got the cafetera. You yes. <laughs> the cafetera with the flowers coming out is a very popular one, too. So, yeah, it makes people really happy to have pieces that remind them of their culture and, like, who they look up to. So, I love it. I love it. it was, it's a pleasure talking to you, folks. Go to her website. Get one of those Christmas ornaments. I, I guarantee it'll be your favorite gift this year. Thanks for joining us today, Kiara. Thank you so much for having me. And we'll put this on the website. You can check it out again. Just go to firstcoastliving.net.